Open only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Corel's 2010 webinar series, the first of which is called Photo Editing Takes a Big Step Forward. My name is Greg Wood. I'm a product marketing manager here at Corel for Paint Shop Photo Pro, and I'll be the moderator of today's webinar. We have a wonderful presentation ready for you today, and some of you may already have realized that our webinar's title, Photo Editing Takes a Big Step Forward, hides a bit of a surprise, and that surprise is a new version of PaintShop Photo Pro. So as the 13th version of PaintShop, I'm pleased to announce that the new version will be called Corel PaintShop Photo Pro X3. We just announced the new version of PaintShop this morning, and we're going to dive right in and show you what the new product has in store. So we hope you like what you see. First of all, let me say thanks to everyone who's joined us today. We're really pleased with the response we've had. Uh, demand for the seminar was such that it really outstripped the available spaces. So for those of you who are listening to us uh, live, thanks for being with us. For those who could not join live and are listening to the recorded version of the seminar, we're sorry there wasn't enough space for you to join. We'll definitely be having more webinars like this in the coming year as we show you what Paint Shop can do and how you can do it. Um, and uh, again, looking forward to speaking with you or at least talking to you at some time in the near future. Stay tuned to the end of this webinar and you're going to find out more about a special limited time offer that on the new version of PaintShop Photo Pro for webinar attendees. We'll, we're going to email everyone the same information tomorrow if you have to drop early with details of the offer. Um, but other than that, without further delay, why don't we get down to business and show you exactly what we've got in store. So to do that, I want to introduce two other members of the Corel team. First is Craig Copley. Craig Copley is our lead product manager for photo products at Corel. Craig's been with Corel for just under a year now, and he really is the mind behind the exciting additions we're about to show you in PaintShop Photo Pro X3. Also with us today, handling questions and the logistics of our webinar is someone you may already know from previous Corel webinars, and that's Corel's manager of field services, Evelyn Watts. Craig Copley is joining us today from his office in California, while Evelyn and I are speaking to you from Corel's headquarters in snowy Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Craig, Evelyn, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me start off by giving you a quick overview of what we're going to show today. In short, we're really trying to show you everything that's new in, in PaintShop Photo Pro X3. According to our registration numbers, and again, you guys entered a, a, a number of Question, answer a number of questions for us when you registered, but about half of today's participants use PaintShop Photo X2 or X2 Ultimate, and for you, we're going to be showing you all the all new features in PaintShop Photo Pro. Because 30% of us are new to PSP, we will touch on some of those foundational features of PaintShop as well, um, and we're really happy to answer your questions as well. So what we'll do is we'll get you to uh, to enter your questions into the GoToMeeting console, or go to webinar console on the right-hand side of your screen, and we'll get to those at the end. So to ask a question, just go to the Questions tab, third from the bottom on the GoToWebinar console, click that plus sign beside Questions, and enter your question. Evelyn has already got a bit of a queue going of questions, and uh, we're going to answer those as many as we can. So just to, we want to get right into the product, but I mean, I want to show everyone one, uh, just a handful of bullets on what we were thinking about when we put together uh, photo editing. We know that the DSLR camera is increasingly important um, because so many of us are shooting on DSLRs. You know, our registration numbers that uh, you, the audience, provided us with show that about 58% of today's attendees own a DSLR camera. Um, still, many of us are shooting on point and shoots and other compact cameras, but we, we thought there's a lot of really interesting things happening on the DSLR platform today. There's some amazing quality on, the pla on, on DSLR cameras and some amazing capabilities, whether that's things as ranging as, uh, as diverse as, as sort of exposure bracketing, if you're doing HDR photography, all the way up to HD video, which is starting to appear in a lot more DSLRs and certainly many compact cameras as well. We really have a lot of things happening in the digital photography space that we need to reflect in any new version of paint shop that we bring to market. So the key challenges we're really facing in today's uh, photo market is really the sim simply the, the quality, size, and number of photos that uh, our, our, we in the digital photography market are taking. And to, to deal with all these photos and the, these file sizes, well, we need a few things. We need better performance. That is, file sizes are so much larger, we need that product to go faster. So in PaintShop, you're going to see that we have enhanced the performance of the product. But I think most notably, and one of the things that 
Craig is going to focus on in his demonstration right now is the dramatic requirement for better photo organization and better photo management. Um, and of course, that will lead to better, spe uh, better speed the results and really enhance the editing experience, which continues to be very powerful here in PaintShop Photo Pro X3. So without further ado, I'd like to just transition right over to you, Craig, and maybe you could show us exactly what we've got in store in the new PaintShop Photo Pro. Well, thank you, Greg. So as I'm switching over to the application here, just a, a, a couple of things about what we're going to talk about today. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to break the presentation into kind of three different areas dealing with specific updates we've made um, in each of those areas. Uh, first, um, photo organization, workflow, these are all issues that, um, that, that we all face as photographers, and especially the enthusiast has to deal with just the, the breadth of photos, the number of photos that are being taken, and really trying to go through those sets and, and look at the ones that are your favorites, pick them out, rate them, keyword them so that you can deal with them uh, later uh, appropriately, and then take them uh, through enhancement and, uh, and, and uh, adjustments as necessary. Uh, so we've got some special uh, tools that we've added in, in the, to um, the, the front of the application in the organization area uh, and dealing with selection. But we've also added a number of tools for the raw shooters out there and uh, have uh, added a raw lab and a number of ways of dealing with multiple photos very quickly. Another area we'll be talking about is, uh, is, is our core editor and the uh, modifications we've made there to enhance uh, both the usability as well as the performance, and then the new features that we've added into that area of the program. And then also we'll be talking about projects and sharing capability in the application. You can touch on some HD uh, video uh, capabilities that we've added in that area of the program as well. So uh, let's switch over to the application. And uh, here is the new uh, PaintShop Photo Pro X3 uh, organizer. And uh, this is where we launch the application. We come into, uh, into the organization view. The uh, organizer is laid out so that there are a couple of different views, one for kind of thumbnails as we see them here, and uh, another one which is more of a preview mode, which we'll get to in a moment. The uh, basic idea is that we have uh, all of the uh, ability to look at uh, groups of thumbnails uh, of, of the photos. This happens to be a, uh, a shoot from the 4th of July off over at Lake Tahoe. Uh, beautiful site, lots of, uh, lots of fun to take these pictures. And uh, the point is that you end up with, you know, uh, 150 shots by the end of the, uh, of, the, of the show, and now it's time to pick out the ones that you're most interested in working with uh, uh, past this point. So uh, I can do that in this way. I can, of course, adjust this so I've got more thumbnails. I can also adjust it so that I can see uh, a, a larger uh, preview area on the screen, and I can do that in this particular way. Um, I've also got down here the ability to rate, to tag, uh, and, of course, to see the EXIF information uh, that uh, is associated with this photo uh, if I want to analyze uh, all of the details of, of what it is that I have, have done or how I did this particular photo. So it's, it'll remember this uh, setting uh, in the future for you. So once you get it set up the way you like it, uh, it, will, it will work that way the next time that you uh, come in. Uh, the other view is this one um, switching to right now, which is the preview mode. Uh, and uh, again, I've got the ability to, uh, to hide the, the EXIF info if I don't want to see that on every shot. Uh, and I've also got uh, you know, a bigger preview area here with thumbnails across the bottom. Again, it's got some adjustability, so I can go ahead and uh, move this and see more thumbnails across the bottom. Uh, so the basic idea with this is that I will I'll be finding those photos that I, I like. I will give, be giving them a rating or a tag uh, as appropriate. And then I can, uh, at that point, uh, make uh, smart collections out of these. So in this case, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, uh, select ratings that are greater than a certain amount. Um, and then that will give me a, a smaller group of images to work with. Again, these are ostensibly would be the favorites that I have from this particular shoot, the ones that I want to adjust or, or work with more. I can also create those smart collections based on um, 
uh, based on different attributes, you know, the date of the photo or a tag that 